Welcome in. It's a very special yet short edition of the Believe in Georgia Dogs podcast on the Believe Network. Watching the first round of the NFL draft just concluded a big, big night for the Georgia Bulldogs, a big night for the Philadelphia Eagles. If you're a Philadelphia Eagles fan, uh, a lot of Georgia fans are going to convert over to the Philadelphia Eagles as their NFL team, and rightfully so. Uh, Nicobe Dean and Jordan Davis a year ago joined that defense. They go to the Super Bowl. And what do they do? Well, they trade up in the first round, draft Jalen Carter, and then tail end of the first round at pick 30, draft Nolan Smith. So you have four guys from one of the best defenses in college football history bolstering that front seven for the Philadelphia Eagles. going to be a great fit there. Uh, Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis reunite on that defensive line. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with there. Uh, they already led the league in sacks. They already – so they have a presence there. Jalen Carter, you know, to, to my, in my mind, a three-down defensive tackle. What a phenomenal pick there in the first round. Not sure if they had to uh, trade up or not, but I guess Chicago was just looking to, to, to build back and get some picks in the later rounds to, to be able to get some, uh, some help for Justin Fields, which, side note, the Bears did a good job of doing that. But Eagles drafting Jalen Carter at number nine overall, was a phenomenal enough pick. I, I thought they got a great defense alignment there, uh, despite all the le- despite all the issues that he had. If you just turn on the tape, you can tell he's a, he's a special special player, and uh, he's going into a great organization there uh, with uh, Nick Sirianni and the Philadelphia Eagles. Nolan Smith uh, just freakishly athletic. The only reason is sitting there at number thirty is because he. Uh, he lost some valuable reps because of injury, um, but the way he moves, the way he can bend, uh, the, the the way he gets off blocks and gets after the passer, uh, you know that that's just the short analysis. We could watch tape and, and, and figure out why exactly why he's a versatile player out there on the edge, going to provide a spark for the Eagles defense um, out there. So two great picks for them in the first round. Love Nolan Smith going to the Eagles um, again. Just two guys that are really unblockable. I mean, the, the two plays that, you know, there's a lot of plays that stand out to me um, from Nolan Smith, but the one of the biggest plays that stands out uh, to me with Jalen Carter, SEC championship, LSU opens up a, a giant running lane and they're down in the red zone. They're getting ready to make this game. They're getting ready to make the game interesting. Jalen Carter makes the center whiff. One of the best swim moves I've seen out of an interior defensive lineman Stops to play for no gain or gain maybe of a half yard, something like that. Uh, one of the most underrated but plays that stood out to me and and, and it really solidified my thought that Jalen Carter was a, was a special, special player. Uh, Nolan Smith, uh, sack after sack after sack, but the, the most memorable sack he had was to close out the national championship game in 2000, uh, in 20, the 2021 season against Bama, Bryce Young, things like that. He just – Absolutely wreaked havoc over there. Taught Michael Williams everything he needs to know. So those two picks, I'll tell you what, I, I'm not really much of a Philly fan or wasn't much of a Philly fan, was kind of a Philly fan, uh, was rooting for those guys in the Super Bowl. Um, but Philly's just making it tougher and tougher for me not to be a fan of what they're doing uh, based on who they're collecting, all the talent they're collecting, the deal they just gave Jalen Hurts, all of that stuff. I don't know, man. Like, I'm starting to kind of like him a little bit. You know, obviously, I'll be a Falcons fan uh, due to geography and due to what I grew up to with. But, man, Philly, two great selections in the first round. But that's not it. The Pittsburgh Steelers grab uh, going up and grabbing Broderick Jones at tackle. Uh, I, I think they're getting a really, really athletic tackle uh, to, to bolster their offensive line. I, I think – when you look at what they needed, that is the biggest thing that they needed, figurat- literally and figuratively. Some of the best feet out of all the offensive line prospects, like a, a guy that if you're going to run screens and Matt Canada is a guy that likes to have his have athletic linemen that can move in space, he's a guy that can pull. He can pull out to the perimeter on screens and block the block the little fast guys. He's he's tough and can block the interior guys. I mean, he's just got a he's he's an all around he's an all around great talent. And as athletic and as strong as he is, he's going to be a great prospect. He's going to be a great pro for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think getting into a good system here uh, will help him. 
open up run lanes for Najee Harris, protect Kenny Pickett, which is much, much needed for the rookie quarter or for the now sophomore uh, season quarterback here for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So uh, exciting. Three Georgia Bulldogs go in the first round yet again. This team just keeps unloading talent to the NFL. Uh, up next, Keely Ringo, Darnell Washington in the second round. Maybe Christopher Smith goes day two. Uh, I'm not sure where he fits in. Kenny McIntosh, Stetson Bennett, uh, Warren McClendon. Also guys that are that are looking for, for spots. Kyrus Jackson uh, is looking for a home. So we'll see where these guys go in the next couple of days. But stay tuned here. It's the Believe in Georgia Dogs podcast on the Believe Network presented by betonline.ag. That is my quick, rapid reaction. Uh, we'll have more to come with uh, – Israel and I, we're going to break down these picks even more on our next episode and, and tell you kind of exactly what we think. But that's the rapid reaction there. That's the quick version. So uh, thank you for listening. Subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'll see you back here. But until then, go dogs. Do you believe? 